Hey everyone, this is Cody with Elite Spinal and Sports Care in Sacramento, California. Before we get started, consider subscribing to our channel by clicking the subscribe button below. This is to stay up to date on our latest videos, bringing you quality content on everything exercise, health, and wellness. Now, this video is going to be about Elbow Controlled Articular Rotations, or CARS for short. This comes from the FRC branch of Functional Range Systems. I'd highly recommend checking them out using the link below. We will be moving our elbow through its full range of motion and attempting to expand its outer limits, helping us gain more mobility and strength at our elbow joint. Two important concepts to note before we get started. First, if you find a particular portion of your circle causes you pain, on the side of the joint you are moving towards, carve that portion of your circle out and don't push through it. Secondly, remember to move slowly and with some imaginary resistance to your movement, acting as if you were moving through dense air that was pushing back against you. Start with your elbows tucked into your sides, forearms parallel to the ground, palms facing up. Imagine that your forearm is a solid pillar from your elbow to the tip of your fingers. We're going to rotate that pillar towards our midline, called pronation, and away from the midline, called supination, while simultaneously flexing or extending the elbow. We'll begin with the elbow extended, palm facing forward. Start to irradiate through the body by corkscrewing the feet into the ground to stiffen the legs. Contract the arm muscles as if you were carrying imaginary weight. Take a belly breath and brace the core as if packing that air down into the lower abdomen. Maintaining this tension, bend the elbow to bring the palm closer to the shoulder for elbow flexion, continuing to fight for more supination along the way. Once you hit the roadblock at the top, Rotate into pronation completely such that your palms now face away from you and begin to slowly extend the elbow, once again fighting for more pronation throughout extending the elbow. Once the elbow is fully extended with the palms facing behind you, we will switch our direction and begin to flex the elbow bringing the back of the hand towards the shoulder. Remember to keep fighting for more pronation throughout the movement. Hitting a roadblock at the top, move into as much supination as possible, and then start extending the elbow, maintaining and fighting for more supination throughout elbow extension. Here are some other variations that you can try. Explore how changing the starting angle at the shoulder or maintaining a flexed or extended wrist throughout the movement alters either the way you feel the tissues elongating or your level of control throughout the movement. We are attempting to dissociate elbow movement from shoulder movement, specifically the glenohumeral joint. Excessive shoulder movement can happen at the bottom of our elbow car and we can monitor for this compensatory movement by watching the pit of the elbow. When going into pronation, watch for the pit of the elbow rotating towards your midline which is shoulder internal rotation. Similarly, when moving into supination, watch for the pit of the elbow rotating away from your midline which is shoulder external rotation. Thanks for watching our video, and if you liked it, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below for more quality content coming your way. And if you're in the Sacramento area, feel free to check us out and book an appointment at the link below.